Hello Aquarius, so this is the reading that I got for you guys for the month of April. So I have the Five of Wands in reverse as a general energy. I got Justice, I got the Five of Swords, I got the Seven of Pentacles, I got the Eight of Wands in reverse, and I got the Five of Cups in reverse. So we do have, I'm um, repeating number five, and Numerology Five represent conflict and represent change. Um, so I do see there is something that is bothering you. Um, especially when it comes to your love life, um, you feel like someone was trying to play you. Okay. And either you, okay. I feel like it's, it's whoever got wrong. I feel like a lot of you guys want justice. Okay. With the, ju with the justice card being there. Okay. You guys want justice, but some of you guys are wanting to have quicker justice. Like, you know, um, and someone is planning a revenge. Hopefully it's not you. But what I'm getting from this spread is someone is really plotting for revenge, you know. Um, it doesn't need to be physical, but you want that person to feel the way that you feel or 10 times worse, okay. Um, but I do see someone plotting for revenge. But with the Justice card being there, trying to say like, the universe see, the universe see who did that person wrong, the universe see who was a victim, the universe see who's innocent. And... Like I said, karma will all the time make you see what someone done to you, okay? And it's going to be done to that person who did you wrong, okay? Um, it could be a different situation, but that person going to experience that same type of pain that you experience. So you don't need to do something when it comes to the physical world because the universe already see that okay and what goes around comes around what's up must come down as above so below so if you've been thinking of you know you want this person to get their karma fast and quick i feel like what the cards are trying to say reconsider it's gonna happen they're gonna get their karma just reconsider okay because i do see someone plotting revenge plotting revenge i do see that um, now the person that you might be dealing with might be another air. So a Libra, a Gemini, or it could be a fire sign, an Aries, a Sagittarius, a Cancer. Okay. Scorpio. That's what I'm seeing. Now for the Romance Angels, I got soulmate, release your acts for yourself and retreat. So I got three cards talk about freedom, talking about releasing anything that's negative about your life. So I feel like this is relating to Aquarius who've been holding a lot of resentment towards someone, okay? Um, it sounds very um, cliche, but basically forgive that person, okay? Because the more that you hold it, the more that you're hurting yourself. The more that you're holding this anger, you know, is blocking you from receiving what's yours, you know what I'm saying? Um, or is blocking you from receiving that happiness, that peace of mind, Okay? Um, when you, when you don't forgive, forgive someone, like it's putting you, it's kind of like, it's putting a setback a little bit, um, because you're not moving forward from that time, from that event that when that person did you wrong. Okay. It kind of block you from experiencing things that are quite positive. Okay. So I feel like the card is definitely trying to say, just forgive this person. This person's going to get it. They're going to get it. They're going to get their karma. Just release it, okay? Don't hold that into your heart. Don't make your heart heavy, okay? Don't, don't do that, okay? Don't make their baggage become your baggage, okay? Definitely release this person, okay? Um, yeah, I'm seeing that once you, like, get that peace of mind, get that zen back, things are going to be... You're going to, like, you're going to see stuff in a different light, okay, with the sun card. You're going to see that. You're going to see that what that person did to you or what that person caused in your life, you're going to realize that's a blessing in disguise, okay? And that's what I'm seeing. Um, now, when I clarify soulmate, I got the world card in the verse and the knight of wands in the verse. So this person, you really was giving your all. Okay, this person you really was being pure and genuine with this person, but this is someone who's fake. Okay, fake as F. Okay, um, and I feel like that's another reason why some of you guys are plotting revenge or some of you guys, you know, want justice real quick. Okay, it's because you really was being pure and genuine with this person. Okay, 
And when I clarify, release your ex, I got the chariots, I got the lovers in the verse. So this person could be a Cancer, Gemini, a Cancer, Gemini, Cots person. So this person could be born late June, early July. Um, but yeah, what it's trying to say is, yeah, this person was not operating on love. You know, they was operating on a facade. Because this does represent Gemini, and Gemini is represented by the twins. So the good and the bad. Yeah, this person was having a facade. Um, but I feel like what the cards are trying to say, just keep moving forward. Don't let this person hold you back, especially emotionally. Don't let this person make you be stuck on an emotional vent, okay? That's what I'm saying. Now, when I clarify release, I mean, free yourself, I got the sun. So I'm seeing once you free yourself emotionally, emotionally free yourself, you ain't get your happiness back, okay? Now, when I clarify retreat, I got the high priestess in reverse, the two of swords and the page of cups in reverse. So I feel like this person... The last thing they, they did to you really kind of make you have a disordered perception of what is love. A lot of you guys feel like love is not real. A lot of you guys questioning yourself of how, you know, it, don't do that. This person, again, is someone who don't even know themselves. So don't let this person decept, um, distort your perception of love don't let that person do that okay i feel like that's what the cards are trying to say keep it like keep moving forward don't let this person get the best of you don't let this person um make you someone that you're not okay that's what i'm saying now when i clarify the justice card i got the nine of swords in the verse and i have three cups in the verse okay so yeah this is someone who probably cheated on you Okay, um, you probably didn't know that you was a third person. It was just like, this is someone, again, that don't know themselves, okay? And that caused confusion for everybody that they was involved with, okay? Now, when I clarify the Five of Swords, I got the Magician, I got the King of Cups, I got the King of Pentacles in the verse. So, yeah, this is someone who definitely know how to use their emotions to get something from you to manipulate you okay but i feel like a lot of you guys are really trying to see how this person can receive karma quicker <laughs> okay a lot of you guys are plotting okay plotting um that's what i'm seeing but again like i said karma will all the time show you it's real <laughs> okay so you don't need to question it's gonna come through now, when I clarify the Seven of Pentacles, I got the Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles, and the Devil in the Reverse. So, yeah, once I, like, I'm saying, like, once you release this bullshit, especially emotionally, you're going to get what's yours. You're going to get that blessing, okay? Especially if you've been wanting something that's real. Pentacles represent real. They represent material, 3D, physical. So... If you've been wanting a real connection, a real relationship, I'm seeing that's going to happen. But it's like you have to let go of this burden, this baggage, this type of energy, this resentment, or this disordered perception that you have about love due to a previous relationship. Once you let go of that, I'm seeing that you're going to have something real and genuine, okay? Now, when I clarify the Eight of Wands in the verse, I got the Nine of Cups in the verse, I got the Four in the verse, and Six of Pentacles. Okay? So, yeah, I feel like because of what had happened, I feel like, yeah, I feel like it was something that they did recently, okay? Recently, so probably a couple weeks, even probably two months ago, but it really made you have a disordered perception that's what i'm saying about love and that's causing a little setback when it comes to your love life but i feel like once you realize this this whole thing what they try to what this person tried to did to you you know once you realize you know that they were trying to hurt you okay but later once you understand the lesson you're going to realize this was a blessing disguise okay when they reveal them true self to you you got you i feel like that's when you're going to I mean, once they, when they already re reveal their true side, okay, I feel like a lot of you guys should took that as a blessing because you was not so, 
you was not in a um, confused state anymore. You see them for who they are, okay? And I feel like that right there is a blessing, okay? So you don't waste more of your time being with someone who's not the one for you, okay? Now, when I clarify the Five of Cups in the verse, I have three wands, the Three of Swords, and the Four of Swords. So, yeah, I do see someone plotting for revenge. Like, someone's plotting for revenge. How can this person feel the pain that I felt? I feel like someone is definitely plotting, okay? Um, but, again, I feel like if that is you, just let it, like, just know that karma all the time will make you see that it's real, okay? So... You don't need to necessarily do anything. It's just going to happen. When someone do you wrong, best believe, that's going to go full circle. That person's going to get wrong as well. Now, when I clarify the five of wands in the verse, I have the page of pentacles, the six of cups in the verse, and the tower in the verse, okay? Some of you guys are waiting for an apology as well, okay? A waiting apology from this person. Um, some of you guys probably feel like that's the way that you can receive closure. But I feel like this person is very manipulative and they probably will not really give you that apology okay but if that is your situation know that you don't need someone else to give you closure because it's really yourself um, are you ready to move on from that event are you ready to move on emotionally okay that's what I'm saying um, but yep yeah, I'm definitely seeing someone plotting for revenge okay but yeah, that's the reading that I got for you, Aquarius. And again, thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If you want to book a personal reading with me, you can at queenforthetarot at gmail.com.